look at that. The sunset is absolutely amazing. I want to say this evening, but it's actually we're in winter now, so it's barely even the middle of the afternoon. The sun's already starting to disappear. And welcome to another edition of Silo. Now, previously we covered, did a little bit on breathing, I want to kind of keep going with that a wee bit, just to expand on a couple of things that we were covering. And we did that last time, was just getting you to breathe in deeply, breathe out again, uh, and focus on the, the noise that that's making. Um, now, something else which uh, I guess is important to note is that um, when you're breathing, not many people seem to be aware of this, but when you breathe in deep, although your lungs are expanding, your rib cage isn't really. Your rib cage is a pretty fixed structure, and it's covered in muscle, and that means it's got a bit of flex to it, but it doesn't move very much. So, a lot of people, usually when they're kids, get this idea because they know that their lungs are inside the rib cage, and they build this perception that uh, when you breathe in deep, you know your chest expands, and that's not really the case. Um, if you look at a baby when it's sleeping, as it's breathing in and out, it's actually the stomach that expands and contracts. And it's no different for adults. Um, that rib cage stays pretty fixed. And as you breathe in, your rib cage, your lungs rather, actually push down. And it's uh, in addition to you being upright, the action of breathing in and out actually um, pushes your diaphragm, pushes your internal organs and gives them almost a wee bit of a massage, just um, kind of activates them in a certain way. So when you're thinking about your breathing as well and breathing in and getting those really deep breaths, don't try and expand your rib cage, but actually Picture your lungs expanding downwards, pushing on your diaphragm, expanding your stomach, and actually just, you can almost force your stomach out, use it like a bellows, um, and uh, allow it to expand as you're breathing in, and then draw your stomach in as you're breathing out, try and bring your belly button back so it's moving towards your spine, and force the air out of your lungs as you're doing it. And you. You can almost get to a stage where your your breathing is rather than something that you're consciously doing through your face, through your mouth and nose. It's actually something that's driven by your stomach, moving in and out. 